blunt on this platform. Mm. Most of times, physical abuse from men is a response to emotional abuse from women. Ah. Emotional abuse from, from the women, women yes. provokes physical abuse. It is a response. Break it down. Uh, I, I, also, I, will add, I will add to that part emotional plus psychological abuse of women. No, he respond. Yeah. No, let, let him come. You so, just, you so, watch us. So, so, <laughs> Men. No, no, we're getting is, is that is, is that what you're saying? I got it, I got it, I got it. I got it. There, is, there is abuse on both parts. On both that parts. is the man goes physical, but the woman, the woman is giving emotional no, torture. Yes, okay, yes, yes. I, I repeat again most physical abuse from men is a response from emotional abuse from women. Okay, take it or you leave it. Men at times are not mad to get one start beating a woman. No reasonable, responsible man will get up, except in rare cases. You know, to every exception, to every rule, there's an exception. Mm -hmm. So we are talking here knowing that there are cases whereby some men abuse women physically for not just cause. Mm -hmm. But I will guarantee you, 80% of men's abuse towards women is a response to an emotional abuse from the woman. Mm -hmm. Can you explain what... Uh, I'm going to explain it in details. Mm -hmm. Men are the quiet type. Women are flippant. Women oh. are flippant in nature. They talk a lot. Mm -hmm. Sometimes a man can do something and a woman doesn't seem to understand. She may start speaking. And women don't speak for you to listen. They speak for you to respond. Once you, they speak and you don't respond, they will want to say something harder than what they have said. And immediately they start throwing those hard words into your heart. There is a level you cannot take it anymore. And there are men, when they have absorbed that shock for too long, they cannot contain it. The next thing is that a rebounds. They will give you a slap and a kick. Then everyone that comes will see the slap and the kick because it is physical. Not knowing that the man has been able to contain the emotional torture. Either for a very long time. Sometimes men can contain this torture for almost 10 years. Some hold it for 15 years at a level they can no longer take it now they feel like this physical abuse or to me the right words to be used there is physical discipline <laughs> this physical discipline to the man or to the man is a kind of trying to solve something that his quietness cannot solve that's one of the reasons you must understand the second reason why men sometimes abuse women physically it is simply because women can easily lose respect for men i'm telling you a man's desire is not food cook the best food he can get it in a restaurant a man's desire is not sex he can get it in the street through a side chick a man's desire is not your attire the greatest thing you will ever take from a man that will cause the beast in him to come out is his respect inherent in every man is a king and a beast if you choose to be a queen you will bring out the king in him if you be a torment you will bring out the beast in him in all cultures of the world the last thing that a man cannot take i'm talking from a generic point of view is disrespect some women are grossly disrespectful I can tell you with all sincerity that the marriages before this period are far more better. There were no marriage seminars. There were no conferences. There were no lectures on marriage. But the marriages succeeded better because people were properly brought up in good culture. This thing called women emancipation has not been defined in a proper context. <laughs> Women emancipation is the ability and liberation for women to enter into governance, not to dominate in marriage. The women emancipation concept should be properly defined and then drilled again in the minds of women. Because some women have taken this women emancipation into marriage. There are standards in marriage that no generation can ever take. The woman is to submit to a man and the man is to love the woman. That is the standard. But women emancipation has come to tell us that a woman has equal right and freedom. Since women are president, they can also be husband. Mm -hmm. 
Women can be president. Women can be governors. Women can be due. But a woman can never be husband. Husband is not a position. Husband is not a rank. Husband is not an office. Husband is an ordained responsibility. And until every woman comes to this position, understand that your emancipation will never come to the place where you will become a husband. Then every woman shall take her place in marriage. And that's why I say most at times physical response from men is a product of emotional abuse from women. The next thing we have to understand, Mr. Liu, is this not everybody has the same capacity women compare a lot a woman will want her husband to be like her neighbor's husband i'm telling you the minute you start quarreling you say that look at papa junior there he goes out with a car here you are with one jalopy bike every day cut your cloth cut your coat according to your cloth any man that god gives you it is because that is the capacity of man you can manage <laughs> god cannot give you something better than you because if you were better off god will give you something better so please let us understand this that people who most of us say look at a useless man that beats his wife i don't support wife beaters but i can tell you before a man will raise his hand what were you doing there until he got to the extent of raising the hand on you we grew with our mothers in the 80s that our father will make we, we want to react by the time they are talking she gives way a woman will talk to the extent of sending her finger into your nostrils because of women emancipation i think we should go back and redefine this concept of women emancipation a woman can be a president like angela merkel she can be a governor she can be an sdo she can be a deal she can never be a husband whether you are anybody your husband whether you are more educated than him that position husband is a rank that god has positioned and nobody breaks it okay